What's up? This is Stray from the Path. We are in Berlin today, doing the top three Empiricon. Stuff. <laughs> Empiricon things. <laughs> top three, oh, and top three what? Your name. My top three names are Thomas <laughs> Gralter Williams. Let's go. <laughs> I was going to have Tom, Drew, Dan, Anthony. Okay. There you go. You just did it. <laughs> there you go. Let's roll. Uh, Evil Empire from Rage Against the Machine, um, Around the Fur from Deftones, and uh, Rush of Blood to the Head by Coldplay. Any reasons why? Um, Rage is the sickest, Deftones is the sickest, and Coldplay is the best band on earth. There you go. Guns N' Roses at the drive-in. At the drive-in still. <laughs> It's tough to choose because I don't even listen to them that much anymore. But that was a band that I loved their entire discography, and they had they have a bunch of albums. I love Relationship of Command is phenomenal. That's up there for one of the best records ever made. But fuck them, fuck those guys, <laughs> fuck those guys though for real. That where they played a festival, where they played Coachella Festival, got paid a million dollars or whatever the fuck to do it, and they didn't give a shit. They couldn't care less. And then that guy like. Cedric throws like fucking hot water on people. He talks shit to people all the time in like not a cool way. That record is phenomenal and it always will be phenomenal, but fuck that band. So take them out of your top three. Take them out. <laughs> sushi sandwiches and. <laughs> sushi sandwiches and uh, what else do I love? Uh, besides sushi sandwiches. Chipotle. Chipotle, yeah. Not Mexican food. I don't like Mexican food. I just like Chipotle. Su Actually, it'd probably be sushi Chipotle sandwiches. Because now that I don't eat meat anymore, sandwiches are kind of lame. Pizza. Sandwiches. Sandwiches is so weird. And yeah, it's yes. Just as as sushi. Yes. Have you ever got? No. no. Not. There's sushi no. So specific sandwiches. You can make. There's meatball sub. There's uh, there's shrimp, there's oh, salmon know. and avocado, there's eel, no, there's shrimp and sushi tempura. is just this little thing. No, there's, it's not. Oh, it's so different. Have sandwiches. you ever, you, you don't know the experience of going to the supermarket, getting the nice cold cuts, getting the nice vegetables. I don't know home, that experience. Making it what nicely. What am I, two years old? You've, when have you, you ever done that? the experience of getting cold cuts. <laughs> when, <laughs> when have you ever done it? <laughs> plenty. plenty. I've done it plenty. plenty. When? He's never done it before. He doesn't even know how to wash his clothes. Anyway, um, my third, I guess Japanese. Yeah, so pizza, sandwiches, Japanese food. Lobster, crab, mussels. Kid, kid hates seafood. Uh, pizza, pad thai. Yeah, so rare. Fucking rare. And um, I don't know. Uh, eight McDoubles from... McDonald's, no, McDonald's sucks. I, uh, Pop Brownies. Pop Brownies, nice one. What a lovely day! The best female performance, or one of the best I've ever saw, was I saw the movie Prometheus, and the girl's name is uh, Numi Rapace, I think her name is. She was in like the Swedish versions of uh, um, Girl with a Dragon Tattoo and all that. But I watched Prometheus. And when she gets the thing taken out of her, I was like, that's the fucking best. That I sh she sold it. I thought there was an alien coming out of her. I never saw the Swedish versions. Yeah, Girl with the Dragon Tattoo is up there for me. But that girl, Numi Rapace, I'm pretty sure her name is that, was just one of the best scenes I've ever, ever seen. And I was just like so convincing. Uh, I think Kate Winslet is fucking tight. Her in Revolutionary Road was so depressing. I wanted to kill myself. And she's great in Eternal Sunshine. Yep. Um, and I'd probably put Julia just because I'm in love with her. She's great though. I am definitely going to say Long Island, New York, which is located in the United States of America. That's where I live, number one. <laughs> uh, Australia and Toronto, Canada. So yeah. Toronto's my favorite city in the world. Yep. Video games took up a lot of my time when I was a kid. I was big into RPGs. Dork. 
It sucked, yeah. And then I realized that there was a world outside, and I started going outside. Thank God. But I was big into like uh, you know, Final Fantasy VII. Uh, there was a game called Suikoden that was for PlayStation One. That was like a, it was like an RPG where you, there's like 108 recruitable characters, and if you got them all, then you and you saved it, you would get special stuff in Suikoden Two. And uh, so I, I beat it three times. Like what an idiot. So, but that game is so sick. Final Fantasy VII, Suikoden, and. Uh, Rock and roll racing. Rock and roll racing. Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time, 100%, is the best game ever. Uh, Super Smash Bros. 64, which challenge me, any of you, you're, you're done. What's the last one? Uh, Left 4 Dead. All time, best show ever, but it's not my favorite, but I'm going to put it as number one. It's probably South Park. Um, it's been running. It's so relevant. It's just fucking perfect. And they do shit that they still fucking amaze me, and they've been around for almost 20 years now. Always Sunny in Philadelphia. I love that show. That's probably my favorite current one. And favorite all time is Seinfeld, I would say. And, uh, yeah, that's three. Lost is definitely one of mine. Lost is sick. Um, Breaking Bad was sick, too. Um, currently really into Orange is the New Black. I know it's a big thing, but it's kind of posery, but it's good. I don't really watch too much TV anyways, so. But Lost was so fucking sick. I have all the DVDs and everything. Yo. We need you for a minute. Thanks. What the heck? What the heck is this? This is Kelly from Counterparts. He plays drums. I like... I like to play. <laughs> Thanks, I like Are to we play. getting him in on the on this question? Or? I guess it. What's the favorite show of yours? Of mine? Um, Put you on the spot. You better no, know, you I better do know the name. I do. Um, it's. I don't know the name, but you'll know exactly what I mean. It's the, one of the last ones on Rising Sun where you do that. Catching down. With the. It's not that last. It's the one with the China thing, and it's oh god, I can't. I have that. no idea what you're talking about, but he might. Yeah, yeah. yeah. maybe that's yeah, 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 yeah that laughing one. Man. Laughing, man. laughing man, laughing man, yeah. laughing man. That's it. Yeah, that's my favorite nice. one. What's uh, what's the top things that, that make your dinky feel good? Holy. <laughs> uh, Sex, ladies' night at the club, <laughs> and rock bar. Rock bar makes me raise my dinky smile. Rock bar. I've got the scars to shot for red. I was once on a bridge and I 